Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be looking at some conditional formatting updates that have become available in the July 2021 update for the multi-row card. Okay, so I covered this multi-row card and how to set it up and configure it in a previous video. So I'll leave a link below because that um, is going to give you some examples and some ideas about how you can use this multi row card. And it is quite useful. But one of the things that I talked about in that video was the conditional formatting options that are available. And they were really limited. However, during the, 20, the July 2021 update to Power BI Desktop, Microsoft have made some additional conditional formatting options available to some of the um, some of the aspects of this visual. And that includes the category, category labels, the data labels, and the sidebars. Now, at first glance, now if I go and um, bring this up. So at first, first glance, you'll, I was looking at this, at the options here, and um, this multi-row card title, which is fine, title text is fine. Um, that's going to allow us to really just define the text that sits in the title. But this data label color and the category label colors, they were really things that I thought that's going to be quite useful. Um, now, a lot like the previous video I've done on the data label colors on a line graph, the same limitations and constraints occur. Of, of If you've watched that video, but they've got the same limitations as the multi-row card. And I'll just talk you through what that is. So what I'd like to be able to do here is identify um, for the particular category. So we've split it by work criticality. So safety, this is a list of backlog, number of work orders in our backlog. Um, we've got the, the work orders that are related to safety, environment, our production capability, and just routine maintenance. And I'd like to be able to conditionally format some aspect of this based on some some rules, some KPI thresholds, so our, our targets. Now, that was not available before, but now with this update, uh, this button is now available here for data labels. So first of all, let's just demonstrate what a data label is. It's the actual data point here. So we're talking about with the data label. So if we go into the data label, uh, we'll stick a rule together. And we can see that we've got the counter work order criticality description. Well, I don't want that. What I'm actually interested in is the backlog count. Okay, because that's the value that we're using here, backlog count. So if the value is greater than or equal to, well, if it's greater than 30, I want it to be red. So I put in 30 here and less than I'll put in the maximum here. And away we go. And we can see it's actually, because I never chose red, it's turned it white. Well, let's choose red here. It's actually turned every single one of them red. So again, what's happened here is that the value and the conditional formatting value, if I go and take that multi row card and just change it into a card, is actually based on the total of all of these added up. So it's 774. So it's the same as the data labels on a line graph, it's taking the total value and using that to conditionally format all of the different data labels. So just to kind of demonstrate that, if I go back in here, here we are, I had a long visual, I did the incorrect visualization selected. So here's the value there. Now, if I say it's greater than, or it's less, greater than 30 or less than or equal to rather than maximum, if I say 744, which is one less than the maximum, which would have been 745, then make it equal to red. We can see it's gone back to no conditional formatting. But as soon as I change this to greater than or equal to 745, it's gone red. Okay, so it's taking the, the sum of the measure and it isn't considering each of the the splits by the, the category that's been used. So again, it's it's pretty pointless, really. I, I can't see why you'd want to, unless you were in a situation where you were just using this multi row card as to display a single category. So if, for example, you thought, well, actually, I don't want to split it. I just want to display that one value there. 
but there's no real advantage. I mean, there's placement values and you've got the little bar at the side, but you would just use a card. Um, so, and the same is, the same thing happens, I'm just gonna do undo it yet. So the same thing happens for categories. Now categories, you can conditionally format the category, but I've gone through this before. Why would you want to display the category? It just displays the same information um, four or five times. So you probably don't even want to display the category, let alone conditionally formatting, format the category with some sort of color every time it goes above the total for all of the categories added together. It just doesn't make sense. Um, so uh, that's another, another part there. And then we've got the card itself and one of the things I thought would be really handy was to be able to conditionally format this here, this little bar at the side, just to give it a subtle indication if it's over the target. Um, and you can, the bar colour, you can you can conditionally format that. But again, greater than 30, less than max, or if I put um, 745, less than or equal to 745. We can see it conditionally formats everything. So, so close, but still so far. Um, so basically, I wanted to make you aware that that's the case. Make you aware that these are available, but um, also make you aware that um, probably not to use them. Okay, so a pretty short video this week. Um, just building on the one that I covered for the conditional formatting on the line graph. I'll probably release the, both of these together. And um, just to kind of keep you up to date with what's happening. Uh, hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll get a bit more of an update that, there. There might be a little bit of an outcry with this because it's, um, it's practically useless. Um, it's a bit harsh, really, actually. It's, you know, it's, it may have some uses. And if you've got any uses, then if you can add it in at the bottom, that'd be great. Um, but I'd love to hear what it is and share it with other people that are watching this video. So if you, um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to subscribe and keep up to date with the latest videos I release it normally each week, then click the subscribe button. And apart from that, I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.